It's Monday the 24th of April, it's a weekly vlog. It's the afternoon, nothing exciting happened this morning. I went to work, Jennifer went to school, Paul's at work. Took the vax over to mum and dad's. I haven't read anything today, I've got my book here. I might read a bit of that in a minute. Uh, we'll see how much I can read this week. Can we beat last week's four hours and 39 minutes or whatever it was? I don't know, but should we see? I'm so quite tired, but uh, all right, I sat finished my current book. I didn't finish it last night. In the end, I just played my games for a bit and went to sleep because sometimes I feel like doing that. But hey, okay. the fair is in risk of this week. Um, so we'll probably go to that on the weekend. <coughs> Setting up there this morning. Setting up today, so we're all down there. It opens Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday through Saturday, and then they go on Sunday, so. I'm going to try and nip down there. And then the following Saturday, it's the coronation party in the park. Because it's, well, the coronation. So, it's all good fun. There's so much going on at the moment. It's a very busy time. So, I've got another buddy colour suit. Uh, one with New Molly Newland. Hi, Molly. And we have picked a page. I'm really looking forward to doing that. So, yay. I'll be doing that one tonight. Potentially, I want to try, do want to try and finish my Egyptian one, so I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Try and finish that one, and then yeah, do that. So, with My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picot, I am on page 185. And if I read any, I will update you a little bit later. Okay, I've been reading for, I've read for an hour and 41 minutes today. That's almost half of what I read. Um, last week and I've just finished My Sister's Keeper and I was not expecting that. I only know the film version. I don't know it that well. I've never seen the film but I do know how it ends. <sighs> oh my god it's heartbreaking. It's so so good. Um, yeah I would definitely be picking up Jodie Pico again. Yeah that was just amazing. Um, so it's bedtime so I'm going to go to bed now. And um, I'm thinking I might actually start a TBR jar. I used to have one and then I got rid of it. Um, the reason being in that I didn't have, you know, I wasn't using it. So, and I, I, I obviously I can't put in series. Um, let me just have a think, I'll be back in a sec. I can put in like the first or next one in a series if I'm reading a series, but I can't put, put in, obviously all the series in case I get book three before book two. But what I can do is, if I pull out the first in series, I can put the second book in series in afterwards. It'll work out that way. So it's just something different, just for a while. Obviously, I can't put in anything that I've set myself to read this year, so nothing from Hollywood, no New Marilyn, and no Agatha Christie. So that's fine. That, that leaves out a good chunk. So I used to have a jar. I still got the jar. I've got two pound coins in it, so I'm thinking... I might see if I can find something else to put the two pound coins in. In fact, I know I've got something else I can put two pound coins in. So tomorrow I am going to set that up and then I will start picking something from, from it like that just to random it up a bit because I got so many books and I, I and sometimes I just I, I do tend to be kind of a mood reader and I just pick a book and read it. So but that doesn't mean to say I mean, that when I've had the TBR jar before, I have actually used it. It has worked. So I am going to do that. But that's going to be tomorrow. I'm off to bed now. And I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everybody. I'm actually at work. Um, I'm waiting for a call. Um, don't know why that's come through. And, um, yeah, so just update. Um, what time is it? 25 to 12. Got an hour and 25 minutes. I finish having some lunch. I'm going to do some eBay stuff, then measuring some stuff. Assuming the cat gets off the bed. Um, I before I started work, I started setting up my TBR jar. That's not all of it. I'll be finishing that this afternoon. Uh, there's a lot of books, and um, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I might do some colouring later. But I really, really want to do some eBay. I really want to do some reading. I'll film a TikTok when I finish the jar later. 
I'm just chilling. Uh, last night I did read for a bit longer after I finished My Sister's Keeper. I've started reading a book on my Kindle called, uh, what's it called? Misplaced Loyalties by M.K. Turner. It's part of a box set. It's a series of police procedural novels. Uh, set in Bristol, which is why I downloaded it, because I'm from Bristol. Um, Meredith and Hodge uh, series. There's like 12 or 13 of them in the series. I don't know how many. I've got the first 9 or 10, I think. Um, so I started reading those. So far, I'm enjoying it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, so I'm just chilling now. Well, waiting for a call to come through, doing some emails. And uh, thinking about what to do afterwards. Um, once I've picked up Jen. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'll get another call in a minute and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Finished work. Paul's been to Greg's, put me a sausage roll and a sandwich. Nice, lovely bloke. Return the TBR jar. It's very full. I'm going to shake it out into a box to make sure they're all really well mixed before I pick anything from it. But I'm going to go have my lunch, so I'll see you in a bit. So after finishing the TBR jar, I have now pulled one out. There's one on the sofa that fell out. I'll put it back in a minute. And I picked out Jack the Ripper, the ultimate source book, which is cool. So I am going to go and find that one now. At least I know where that one is. And we'll put it ready to be read. Yay! Hey guys, this is the book that I picked out, the TBR jar. Jack the, the ultimate Jack the Ripper source book, Soup P. Evans and Keith Skinner. It's about 700, 600, 700 pages long. It's huge. But... That's the one we picked, so that's the one we're going to read. I've also picked out my Hollywood book for April, even though April's nearly over, and that's this one of all the gin joints in all the world. Basically, this is a Hollywood history book um, with 40 cocktail recipes. So it's stumbling through Hollywood history, um, basically because obviously Hollywood and drinking went hand in hand. I've read a couple. It's really interesting. And uh, has stories about all the major stars. I believe there's Humphrey Bogart, Anna Mae Wong, Lana Turner, Spencer Tracy, the Embassy Club, the various places they worked at, Frank Sinatra, of course, and how to make uh, some of the drinks that these stars would drink. John Cassavetes, Rock, Rock Hudson, Lee Marvin, most of them are men. There are a lot of women in here, so I can't, just, I'm just not finding them. So, yeah. David Niven, of course, Mitch, John Houston, Holden, Hayden, Cary Grant. So, yeah, Lana Turner, wonderful. So, I'm looking forward to that one at some point. I mean, I've, I've read a few bits. I'm just going to read them in, in the sections because, in fact, this one, the cover's coming off. I'll put it back on afterwards. I've got to find a bookmark for it. So you've got, first lot, first lot is a list of illustrations and such and such, and then the introduction. But then when you go to the next section, if I just get past the introduction, it's chapter one. Um, it's got information on the various murders that happened around that same time. So they're not very long chapters. So what I should probably do is just read it chapter and then start something else. So I probably might read a bit of that, then I might read a bit of that. And then I might read a bit of the Michelle Morgan book, which I have started but haven't finished. I also want to read the next in the zombie series. Let me just go and find the next one. There won't be a sec. Here it is. It's this one, Zombie Underground, Darren Chan. These are short novels. They're not very long at all, so I enjoyed the first one. So, yeah. I'm going to have a go at that one as well. Jennifer doesn't like these. It's one of the reasons I want to get rid of them. She doesn't like the covers. I've also got a few books to sort out. I was going to do some eBay, but I'm, I just can't be bothered. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'm going to do this instead. I'm shattered. Right, I'm now started, uh, sorted out. Blah, blah, blah. That doesn't look right. Why has that got a big gap in front of it? Oh, I'll have to have a look at that later. All the books that I had over here on my... I have read this in January, February, March. I'm not going to wrap it up. It's too late. I will do a reading wrap-up if you're interested. At the end of April, there's not many... I haven't read much yet. How much have I read? Because I have read a couple of e-books, so... Uh, two... Four... That one, I don't know where that book is six i've read eight so it's not too bad it's uh, i'm way behind for the year but i'm not worried about it too much it's probably on the floor and i'll find it put in the pile um yeah this room's a mess i need to tidy it up again 
um, the idea is just to try and get some of the books off read off the top like I am but also like some of the ones that I've got this year some of them are in here most of them are in here some of them all the ones I've got this year are in here so while I'm not worried about reading all of them I would like to remove some of them so I can put other books in the cart or there's a pile next to the bed um, all of those though apart from the three Darren Shan books I was given in January <laughs> and um, a Marilyn related book, or a Marilyn book, uh, are in the list, the two Marilyn books there. The rest of them are on the list. Uh, are in the TBR, I'm so sorry, I am so tired. Obviously I've taken one of the zombie books out of the, the cart. There's a little bit of space in there, but not a lot. Um, so far my cart has two full shelves of just books. And the top one, the top bit is half books, half colouring books. It's mostly books though, because I've got all my Bristol ones in there. Again, they're on the list, so. I'm going to get Jennifer in a minute, but before that I've got just one job to do. I need to count how much money I've got for my holiday. And I want to see if I can find that book that I haven't put on the pile for wrapping up next month. So I'm going to see you, maybe down the road. So I'm in the car park waiting to pick Jen up. It's a gorgeous day, look at this blue sky. Gorgeous. Um, and I brought with me of all the gin joints, so I'm going to read a bit of that while I'm waiting to pick her up. So yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, I'm not really in, um, I don't know what I was going to say, some mood to do other things like colouring that I want to read. I really want to read at the moment, so that's good. Last month I didn't really want to, I wanted to colour. Today is the other way. So I'm just going to read some of my book and I'll see you later. So everybody's in bed. Well, Paul hasn't come out yet. Jennifer's asleep. I'm sitting in bed. I'm getting through this one. I've read a few pages in this. So I am going to try and read a chapter of this or part of a chapter of this. I'm going to read a chapter of this just to see how it starts. And I'm going to start reading this because it's a huge book. It will take me a while. Priority has to be of all the gin joints because it's my challenge book, Hollywood book for the month. I'm just rereading some of my Marilyn books so I can review them on TikTok. I know somebody did ask about the top five photo books. And I'm still thinking about it. Because there's been so many of them. It is hard for me to pick five must-haves. Um... But, yeah, I will have a look at that and answer the comment I've got on um, thing. So I'm going to go and read for a little bit. I will come back afterwards and let you know how I've done. Good morning, all. It is Wednesday. It's getting so close to the end of the month, I can't believe it. I'm actually quite glad it's paid out on Friday. Just getting my computer logs on for work. And update on reading. I have now read for, I think it's three and a half hours. Near enough. Considering last week I only read for four and a half, I've only got an hour and then I'll be into beating last week's reading time. I'm just really in a reading mood. Like last week I wasn't, but this week I am. I read 34 and a half pages of the Jack the Ripper book we pulled from the TBR, so I'm happy with that. And then I read, because it's quite in depth, it's all the original police reports, at least the ones that still exist. Which aren't many, unfortunately, that a lot of them were destroyed in the Blitz. <coughs> or they were taken home by other officers. But what's still and it's printed the printed them, along with press reports and witness statements and all that. So it's all the original stuff from the 1880s, which is fascinating, but quite heavy and in depth. So I read 34 pages of that and a half, and then I thought, right, I read a bit of it, all the gin joints. So I read a couple of pages of that, and then I was so tired, I went to sleep. <laughs> I was. So tonight, when I pick up Jen, I will take um, all the gin joints and read that while I'm waiting to pick her up. Uh, because I like to get down there early, just have like five minutes of peace before the mayhem breaks. A bit of fresh air. Sit with the windows open in the car and just read for ten minutes. Then I can get and then we come home and then I've got that book if I want to carry on reading it. Or I can play games on my phone. Or I can do some colouring. I did a bit of colouring last night. I'm about to finish uh, up the picture up before I start. Or I will start outlining this picture before I start work. Because I've got a bit of time. I've got 14 minutes. So I'll start that and I'll finish it when I finish. But yeah, quite happy, bit tired. It is Wednesday. 
in the office tomorrow, but that's fine. I don't mind. Um, the fair's on this weekend, so I do want to take her to the fair this week. So you'll see that. But yeah, it's all good. So just chilling. I'm looking at the books I've got. I love my books. You know I love my books. I am till, still trying to scan them all into everything. It's having the time to do it. I might try and do that over the weekend. I'll do some of it on the weekend. Because um, it would be nice just to, when I've read a book I haven't read before that I'm keeping, um, just scan it and put it on the shelf. Like I can with the Marilyn ones because I've done them all. And I can with any of the, the books I keep in the other room. So like my Terry Goodkin, my Terry Pratchett's, Deborah Harkness, Peter James. If I get another Peter James one, there's one out there this year, or Richard Osmond. Because they're already scanned, that shelf is scanned. Anything I add to that shelf just gets scanned and it gets put away straight away. So I really want that over here, but I do need to sort out these shelves because I've got two shelves that have got cameras and books on them uh, and the books are from last year that I bought so for instance Outland is there and I do want to read that at some point but it's in the TBR jar so it might come up um because I've got quite a lot of books I'm not I'm not gonna have room for on the shelves so because I've used all the shelves up so I need the shelves back so <laughs> somebody else to sort out this weekend um my Jack the Ripper shelves are filling up nicely I've got I've got one and a bit of shelf it'll be one and a half when I've read them all um, one's a smaller shelf, so if they're smaller, they go on that shelf, and then they, it means I've got more space on the for the bigger books. Like the book I'm reading will go on the, the top shelf because it's bigger, and then anything that fits on the small shelf, I'm just rambling now. I'm going to go and get ready for work and do that little bit of outlining. I'll see you later. So finished work. Picked up Jennifer. She's here playing with the rope control, dropping it on the floor and breaking it as usual, and eating beans. There she is over there. Look, gorgeous girl. She's gonna watch some YouTube, probably Rebecca Zamolo. Because she's got a crush on Matt. Have you got a crush on Matt? Yes, I have a crush on Matt. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I did read my book. I was watching something on YouTube when I was waiting for her, which was fine. Um, I'm, I finished my colouring book, so look out for a flip through of my first ever completed colouring book. Yay, I'm so excited. And um, that'll be coming up at the end of the month. After I've done my pages, and yeah, so see what else we can do now. So I'm going to have a drink of my colour for a bit, and uh, we're going to watch some YouTube together, and then I'll read a bit later on. And then something. What? Oh, nobody wants to see your beanie mouth. Go on, go away. Off you go. Off your trot. Honestly, I know she's cute, guys, but, you know, she's a terror. She's a right little scamp. And she's got chicken legs, haven't you? You chicken legs? Hey! Don't say that to the fans. Oh. Don't come that down. Don't come that down, yo. That's a poo poo. <laughs> she never got chicken legs, right? At least she's gorgeous. Anyway, we'll be back later. It's Wednesday night. Jennifer's asleep. Paul's in bed. You can see I've just had a show. I'm going to dry my hair and read my Otto Penzler Ripper book because that's what I do when I dry my hair. When I finish that book, I've got another couple of massive books that I will swap it out with. So, yes, what have I done today? Not very much. I haven't read very much. In fact, I haven't read at all. <coughs> I'm going to read that. And obviously, then when I'm ready for bed, I'll turn the light off and I'll snuggle down with them um, of all the gin joints. Because I'm actually enjoying that. I think I read a couple of pages of that earlier, but not much. Maybe 20 minutes or something like that. So we're heading towards the four hour mark of reading for this week. It's only Wednesday. I read four and a half hours the entire week last week. So it just goes to show I'm getting back into it. I didn't do any colouring downstairs today. I might do that tomorrow. I, it depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes I want to colour loads. Sometimes I want to read loads. I've decided though I've got far too many hobbies. But I'm not going to give any of them up. I mean, I don't do as much photography. So I've kind of half given that up. Um... The way I used to, I used to go out taking a lot of pictures of buildings, places, cemeteries, events. Um, I don't do that so much anymore, but that, that'll come back eventually. Uh, when Jennifer's a lot older, maybe she can join in, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get off on my hair and read a bit of my book. I'll see you later. Good morning. It's Thursday and I'm at the office. Uh, yeah, I did read for a bit last night. I read a good chunk of, um, of all the gin joints. I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow. I'm on the 50s now. Now, interestingly enough, there's no chapter on Marilyn because she really didn't like party and contrary to probably she liked her champagne. And there were rumours of her drinking gin from a teacup on the sets of uh, various films, such as Some Like It Hot, maybe The Misfits. But 
she never went out rebel rousing. The only functions she really went to were industry functions, so like premieres and parties that were thrown for her by the studio. She wasn't really big into it. So she is mentioned throughout the book at various things, saying that she did like to dine at various hotspots, which she did, but she really wasn't a party goer. People think she was, and she really wasn't. She was not one that liked to go out partying. She would rather stay home with a good book. I just go after my own heart. Um, but yeah, so it's very interesting. A nice little dip into Hollywood history. Um, give you an idea of who you might want to read about next. So yeah, I do like it. It's a good book. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in, make myself a cup of tea, get myself set up for work. <sighs> See you later. Hey everybody, it is Friday morning. Hooray! It's good for several reasons. A, it's Friday. Two, it's payday. And three, Monday is a bank holiday, so we don't have to work because we've got a three-day weekend. Yay! So, last night I finished reading of all the gin joints, wherever I've put it. I don't know. Is it somewhere? Where is it? There it is. And so, yeah, I finished reading this. It was, it was quite good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I started reading Zombie Underground. And I read a bit more of this one that we picked out from the TBR jar. It's going to take a while, but it is really fascinating, so I will uh, carry on reading that later. So, I'm off to start work. I'm working downstairs today. I just came up to get the camera and to do this little bit. Um, I'll take Jack the Ripper down, so I might read him when I finish. I might do. Jennifer doesn't like the covers of these, so I tend to read it when she's not around. Let's go and do the last day of the week. It's Friday afternoon, the sun is out, that means it's time to have a drink at the pub. With Dad, Paul, and Jennifer. Such a beautiful day. <laughs> Sun's out. You can't come, she's got Chris, but she's waiting for her friend Alex because Alex is coming up at some point soon. It's a lovely day, it's absolutely gorgeous today. You got a bit of sleep. I have. Uh, it's nice here. Yeah. Mm. Jen's got daddy's coat on. It's getting a bit cold. Everybody's gone home now. It's just me, Paul, and Jen here. And she's got a bit cold, so she's wearing daddy's coat. Dad's going to take a picture of you, all right? Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. How do I get a copy of it? I want a copy of it when you get it. Where's your face gone? Jennifer! Jen! Put it on properly. She's so cute. Back from the pub now. Everything's great. Jennifer went um, is, is in bed. She's absolutely out. Literally, she came in. She was tired. We had, she had something to eat. I made made her some food. And for Paul as well. And, and me, I had a little bit, but I had had food at the pub, so I didn't really need too much. And then we um, we came home, and she watched TV for a little bit after what after having a little bit of food. And she said, "Come on, now, get ready for bed," because she was she was tired. You could tell she was tired. She just, and then she said, I'm going to bed, I won't go to bed now. So I tucked her in and kissed her goodnight. And she didn't even want a story, she was so tired, she went straight to sleep. So she's out. Paul's downstairs talking to his friend. I am updating my reading journal with of all the gin joints because I finished that last night. And then I'm going to probably turn my light off and read for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> I'm so tired. And then I'm going to go to sleep because, you know, we're going to the day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday and it's going to the fair day. And then we're going to the pub again on Sunday. I can't keep up with all this drinking. Nah, it's fine. Not drinking that much. But probably won't drink anything tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm a bit tired. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read for a bit and go to sleep. So I'll see you in the morning. Well, hello, friends. It is Saturday. Which means we're going to the fair in a bit. I just got to brush my hair, um, put my shoes on, and we'll be out the door. Although Paul's eating at the moment, so it'll be after that. I was going to ask him to eat, but I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to bother. 
So I'm going to go to the fair and see how we get on. I'll ring my mum and dad, see if my dad wants to come down. He probably won't because he was out yesterday with us at the pub and he's probably hurting. You do need to go into the hairdressers and book a appointment and get my hair done because it's... Uh, I had to cancel last one because I don't I'm bothered to make a new one yet. I will soon, so... Uh, maybe I'll pop in today. I don't know. Or Tuesday before I picture up. I don't know. I will at some point soon. It's just getting the energy to do it, innit? You know. Anywho, um, see you at the fair in a little bit. Bye. We on the fair, Jen? Yeah! We're in a red car, aren't we? Yeah. Woo! Babe. Ready? Whee! <laughs> you do, don't you? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Whee! <laughs> that Jennifer's going to be when coming down there at some right? point. When's that? Oh, when we're on the thing. Oh, there she is up there, look. <laughs> In the pink. She's getting there. Oh! I want to start a table today and start straight along. Yeah. And that's where it's going on there and then I start the table. Off you go. Oh, she's off again. Go, Jen. I thought she would like it. Oh, she seems to. I'm going to get right by the end, didn't you? Yeah. Again. <laughs> there she is at the top. Come on, Jen. Woohoo! That's also for many people. I'd rather go on a big one myself. What do you think, Jen? Yeah. Yay. Like waters for kids. Me, I'd rather be on the big ones, but there you go. Whee! It's a bubble wand, really, but it's in the shape of a sword. Show us your moves. Lay down. All right, good girl. Ah, watch it. <laughs> that dog is looking at you. Here we go. There you go. That's enough now, Jen. So nice. We come out in the garden. Hold it up closer and blow. <laughs> You never did get the, the hang of it, have you? We're going to do some colouring and drawing, aren't we? Yeah. You're going to use my pens? Here we are. Do you want glittery ones? Yes. These are the glittery ones up here. Um, okay. I want these ones. This Pink one. one. Okay, go for it. All right. Back in now and it's bedtime. Still light out. We sat out there for a little while. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on charge, actually, because it's almost dead. Read for a little bit. I have read for over seven hours this week, which is quite good. Um, obviously, we've got tomorrow, so we'll see how we can get on tomorrow. Um, but I'm really tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, and it's Sunday. Excuse me, it is Sunday. I didn't pick it up this morning. Um, the weather's changed it's completely different. It's raining and horrible out, and it's giving me a headache because that happens every time the air pressure changes. Every time it goes from nice to horrible, Horrible, nice, like a headache. Got one now. It's horrible. Um, we got back from shopping. Um, we were going to go up the prince, but uh, it's just so horrible. I just don't want to go out. I want to snuggle up on the, the sofa with Jen under the heated blanket because it's quite chilly as well. And uh, maybe read a little bit. That's what I plan on doing. So uh, I want to like I'm, I'm over seven hours. I think I'm heading toward eight hours of reading this week, which is really cool for me. Um, so last night I did read for a little bit and I did read a bit of the Jack the Ripper book as you can see I've taken the, the dust jacket off because it's getting it was getting on my nerves I'm on about page 84 and I read a few chapters of Zombie Underground 
I haven't got a bookmark in here, I'm actually using the inside flap and I'm on chapter 7 of that one. So that one, as much as I want to finish it, and I probably could, yeah, I'm going to take them both downstairs and have a read. Um, yeah, obviously this one I want to read because so I can take out the next TBR jar list, but it is going to be a while because like I said, it's a good big chunky book. I also want to do a bit of colour in because I quite fancy it. So yeah, we'll all send lotion in case the weather gets nice because I burn in the sun very badly. I'm out in the sun all day yesterday and my arms are itching, so. Uh, luckily I haven't come out in lots of really red welts like I normally do, so hopefully I won't. And yeah, it's all good. Just so tired and headachey. So I'll see you in a bit. I'll update you on the reading and fingers crossed. I can get this finished. If I don't, I will probably finish it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a bank holiday, so there's no work. I'm really happy about that. Not because of why I actually like my job. It's just because, you know, it's an extra day off. I can spend it with Jennifer. We can, if it's nice, we'll go out. If it's like this, we'll get the paints out, do some painting or something, play some games. And, sorry, do some reading. I do like to read. Hi guys, it's Sunday night, everybody's in bed. Jennifer and Paul are asleep. I've just been playing my games. I haven't read any more today, but that's okay. I read for seven hours and 43 minutes this week. Let's see if I can beat it next week. Obviously it's a bank holiday Monday tomorrow, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a night, take my meds, and I'm <laughs> playing my games a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm probably not gonna read tonight. If I do, I'm mostly just gonna get up to just over eight hours, so. I'm happy with what I've read, so I did quite a good week. Tomorrow's Bank Holiday Monday, it's supposed to be fairly nice, so you never know, we might go out somewhere. Might just sit in the garden, who knows. I'm going to do some filming tomorrow, but I will see you tomorrow.